The reefs around Wakaya Resort are quite extensive and the actual section of reef that's directly out front of the resort is one of a few nationally protected areas within Fiji. Now within the species that use the reefs here we see manta rays and specifically we see manta rays predominantly cleaning on the reefs here. These mantas also do not see divers and snorkelers and humans that much so we can have fantastic interactions with these animals on a beautiful reef system and it is a very special place to dive with manta rays. My name is Luke Gordon and I'm the project leader of Manta Project Fiji, which is an affiliate of the larger Manta Trust Global Charity. Manta Project Fiji is a small research and conservation project based here in the Fiji Islands and the majority of our work is possible through collaborations and partnerships across the country, uh, both with private, NGO and governmental organisations. Now our relationship with Wakaya is very important for this particular area. We are in the Lomaiviti group of islands uh, where Wakaya is situated and if we didn't have this relationship currently with Wakaya we wouldn't be able to collect any of the data that we do right now on the mantas here. So another part of our project here at Wakaya is working with the dive masters creating best guidelines for interactions with manta rays that guests can have here. So we have multiple sites that guests can interact with manta rays around the island um, but the main sites are cleaning stations and we have specific guidelines that we implement at those sites so guests can have the best experience but also we do not impact the mantas. It's the most sustainable experience that we can have here. Currently one of the most important parts that we're doing is we are deploying satellite tags on the mantas here. So satellite tags allow us to see where the mantas move. It's one of those critical questions we need to answer when looking at conservation management strategies for a species. We want to find critical habitats such as movement corridors, foraging habitats and cleaning habitats away from Wakaya Island or even on the Wakaya Reef that we don't know exist. My name is Mark Erdman and I am the Vice President of Asia Pacific Marine Programs at Conservation International. I was invited to come here to Wakaya uh, along with Luke Gordon uh, of the Manta Trust uh, in order to deploy some satellite tags on the manta rays here in order that we can get a better understanding of where they're moving around. Satellite tags basically reveal both horizontal movements and vertical movements or diving behavior of manta rays. So um, this is going to take basically depth and temperature data every one second and it's gonna take location data, or GPSs, every time that the manta's on the surface and the satellite tag reaches the surface. Now what that's gonna allow us to see is basically where these mantas move over the next four to six months and how they're diving. Um, and that, of course, is exceptionally useful information for conservation management. We need to know, are these mantas staying around Wakaya continuously, or are they potentially migrating to other parts of Fiji? And along the way, are they pretty much on the surface? Or are they doing a lot of deep diving? And all of those things, of course, give us some information about how they might interact with fisheries. Um, it allows us to know how tourists are going to be able to see them. Are they spending a lot of time on the surface? Um, and in general, it's just something that's just really important for understanding how to manage these animals, which are an endangered species. My name is uh, Iso Amara. I work as a dive master at uh, Wakai Resort. Uh, it's been uh, one year, six months now since I've been working here and I'm uh, enjoying uh, going out uh, diving with a guest, especially uh, diving with mantas. Uh, the things that I like about working with the Manta Project Fiji is that uh, they have taught us a lot, how the mantas feed, you know, how they clean and uh, the types of mantas that, uh, that comes and feed on the cleaning station. My hope for the future, there will be an uh, increase of numbers of mentors around Fiji. There will be more mentors coming here to Wakaya and we're going to try to protect it for the better future. So obviously our work in this area would not be possible at all without the support of Wakaya Resort. So we are incredibly grateful for all the support Wakaya offers us to be able to conduct our work here. It really allows us to collect fantastic data on the mantas here, meanwhile giving guests some of the most incredible experiences with mantas anywhere in Fiji. 
I've done thousands of dives with manta rays, but I have to say that the diving that we've done today with the Wakaya manta rays uh, on the cleaning station here were just spectacular. Um, in particular, the early morning dive, not only was it a manta soup with, with mantas everywhere, but they were just so interactive. The water was crystal clear, the fish life around, it was just absolutely perfect. So um, I really can't say enough good things about Wakaya manta ray diving.